Yeah, you mentioned this before. This leads us to kind of our, or you just mentioned it. Uh, mm. You know, more and more sisters have been kind of opening up about their struggle uh, with pornography. Uh, like in your experience as you're counseling or interacting with different groups, uh, is, are there differences in motivation or even heart issues with genders when it comes to this issue? And I don't know if you um, can speak to that. I'm sure there are. Um, again, I, I haven't done enough research to really know uh, what the majority of women um, are are thinking uh, and how that may be different from men. But what I have come to is this. Um, I think at the base of it, both men and women want to feel good about themselves and they want to feel loved. They want to feel right. Um, and because of sexual brokenness, um, because of getting rejected by the world, rejected by the opposite sex or whoever they're interested in, um, it just keeps on developing shame. And so both men and women, probably since an early age, have found ways to deal with all that feelings of rejection and worthlessness. Um, and I would say that women who struggle with pornography have a taller mountain to climb than men do because um, the world talks about pornography and sexual addiction as a male issue. Mm. And for the women who are struggling with it, um, because the world is not talking about it as a both and issue, mm. they're thinking, well, then I'm more of a freak, right? I am, what does that make me if we're talking about this as if this is a male issue? So um, where's my help? You know, where does my help come from? So uh, I'm grateful that there are a lot of female sex addiction therapists out there. Um, and they are capable of, of helping both the man and the woman. But I just feel that um, it probably would be better for a female to go to a female sex addiction therapist because I think already there is a um, uh, a barrier taken away uh, mm. that that ability to speak and um, uh, to speak freely. Uh, maybe they would have a bit of discomfort speaking to a male about this. I don't know. That's just kind of my my guessing, mm. but I do feel a lot of compassion for the females who are struggling with it because I mean wouldn't you agree that most churches talk if they ever do talk about this they talk about this more as a male issue yeah right mm -hmm. That's true. so I just think that we need to change the language of it you know mm. I think um, if we do set up any sort of addictions ministries in the churches I think they should have one for the men and one for the women you know mm. Um, even if only like one woman shows up, that's fine. But at least you are sending the message that this is not just a male issue. Mm. Yeah. 